So, programmers, we're about to create time. Well, at least some notion of it. This will be the first step to later on move the objects and then, after some time has passed, draw them with the updated positions. To accomplish this, we'll need to get the current system time, the current hour, minutes, seconds and hundreds of second of the system and then check if some time has passed since our previous time value. In our case, we will compare the hundreds of second using an auxiliary variable that will contain the previous value. It seems more complicated than it is, you'll see what I mean as we go. So, let's see what we've made yet. So, link, pong, and the pong ball appears. So, we need to start thinking about moving the ball left, right, up, and down. To do this, we need some kind of time, some kind of uh, time check. So, uh, we need to call this draw ball after some time has passed. This will be used when later on we update the ball position and we will erase the screen and draw the ball with the updated position to give the illusion of movement. These drawings can be called frames. Usually you'll see the name FPS drawn around. FPS stands for frames per second. How many frames are painted in a second? In our case, we will be drawing one frame when one hundred of second has passed. One hundred frames per second. Yes, <laughs> it will be fast, very fast. This will be easier to implement than the 30 FPS, 60 FPS that you were accustomed to see. So, to do all of this, we first need to get the system time and then we will need to check if 100 of second has passed. If has passed, then we draw, move and do all of the things we need to do. Let's start by checking system time. I already have here this website. I will leave in the description the link. So, we have here this function code on a h to get the system time. The interruption we will be using is the um, interruption 21h and the function to get the system time. The 2ch has the function code to get the system time and have this return. So after calling the calling of this function, the ch will contain the hour of the system the CL the minutes, the DH the second, and the DL register the 100th of second. Now let's start writing the code to get the system time. Let me see the, um, the website. So, we start by move to the AH register to CH. And now let's call the interruption. The interruption, remember that it's the 21H, so int. And you can see 21H to get the system time with the 2ch so 21h let's comment this get the system the system time let's copy this text here and put it on the comment now that we got the system time, we need to check if time has passed. In our case, if 100 of second has passed. If the current 100 of second is different than the previous one. Let's create an auxiliary variable. 
this variable will contain the previous value of the hundredth of second, so we can compare to the system hundredth of second. If it's different, then time has passed and we can do all the actions. If not, and it's the same, then we need to check again until they are different. So time ox, define uh, byte, zero. Let's comment this, variable, uh, variable, used when checking if if the time is changed so uh, let's write some pseudo code as comments is the current time equal to the previous one so the time ox variable is it equal so we need to compare uh, the current time so the DL register that contains the the current hundreds of seconds so CMP uh, and the DL CMP DL and we need to compare to the previous one the, the auxiliary variable that we have so the time ox variable so we need to do CMP DL with the time ox variable you can see that we are comparing two variables that contain one byte remember that the DL register can only store 8 bits of information because of this, we are using a db variable. The time ox variable is a db, defined byte variable. Uh, so, if it equal, we need to check the time again. So, if is equal, we jump to the check time label. Um, could be check time. Let's put this label here. Let's move this to the right. So, now... If the hundreds of second are the same, we jump to the check time label to get the system time and compare again. If it is the, the same, check again. If uh, uh, we reach here is because the time has passed and we do the things we need to do. For now we are only drawing the ball. So if it is different, then draw, move, etc. Now we only need to update the time ox variable to the current hundreds of second. So we move to the time ox, so move time ox, the value of the DL register. So DL. Here we are updating time, so update time. Now after all of this, we repeat the process. So we jump to the check time label with the command GMP. After everything, checks time again let's see if we didn't break our program let's go again to dash box bong and here we go everything is the same so to see this uh, working, let's try something cool. If we go and increment the ball position, we can see something cool happening. Let's just increment by a 1, the ball X. So we ink ball X. And we run again our program. 
masm slash a pong dot asm link pong pong and awesome <laughs> we can see our ball expanding in the x axis this is because we're moving the ball to the right and we're not erasing the previous ball we'll take care of this in the next videos stay tuned